Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is October the 24th, 2020. Let's talk about a casino mispricing in the Terrence Crawford versus Kell Brook fight. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now the odds always matter. When you're in a sports book, you're not just looking for winners. You're looking for mispricings, right? Fighters you think might lose, you think might have, let's say, a you know, 35% chance, one in three chance of winning the fight. And of course, the, cons the casino is pricing that fighter as if that fighter has a less than 20% chance of winning the fight. At a certain point, given the talent of the fighters, the bet makes itself. In other words, if I walk in a Target and something worth a dollar is being sold for 50 cents, I'm going to have to seriously think about buying that item. Right? Well, here you have odds that are way off. A reader here online who commented on my earlier video uh, pointed out that Kell Brook is right now priced at a plus 850. When I read his comment, I thought, you know, this guy must be mistaken. So, of course, I went to bovada.lv. Again, bovada.lv. Now, let me pause here. This site is for adults. Right? It's your responsibility to figure out the legality of you using any site I mention here online. Okay, so you need to figure out whether bovada.lv is legal in your jurisdiction. But sure enough, the viewer here was right. Kell Brook somehow, mysteriously, is going off right now at a plus 850. Understand, the casino wants you to believe that if these two guys fought nine and a half times, Terrence Crawford would win eight and a half of the nine times. Well, let me just say, whenever a fighter has the hand speed advantage, which is what Kell Brook has, whenever a fighter is a fast starter, in other words, it's hand speed coupled with a guy who could go out there against Golovkin, which is what Kell Brook did, and surprise him in the early rounds. A guy who could go out there against Errol Spence, which is what Kell Brook did, and surprise him in the early rounds. Right, A guy who has fought world-class opponents. Understand, Golovkin, champion, Errol Spence, champion, Sean Porter, champion, right? A guy who has been in the ring with big-time talents, like Kell Brook has. In fact, let's throw in the guy who beat Jeff Horn, former champion, Michael Zarafa, who Kell Brook beat. When a guy's fighting world-class competition, in other words, the stage is not going to be too big for him. And he has the faster hands and is the faster starter. There simply is no way that Kell Brook, 39 wins, 2 losses, right? That's the record, folks. 39 wins, 2 losses. He's 34 years old. There was no way that he should be a plus 850. Right? There, there simply is no way. So, I believe here that if you look at this bet, it makes, it, it, it makes itself. Understand, if I walked into a sports book and they told me 
that Kell Brook was a plus 850 against Sugar Ray Robinson, who was probably at his best at welterweight. I would be thinking about putting some money on Kell Brook. The value is just too compelling. Kell Brook is a former champion. He's been fighting champions. Right? Understand that Crawford's toughest moments in the ring, I would say, were against faster-handed guys. Yorkies Gamboa. Crawford isn't the fast starter. He's a slow starter. You look at Crawford's fights, and understand, I feel Crawford's the best in the sport pound for pound. Right? You look at Crawford's fights, and you notice Crawford is the guy who has an edge and chops wood. In other words, his last few fights, Benavides makes it to the 12th round. Right? Crawford's not in there trying to finish the guy early. Rather, Crawford is in there using his superior skills where he wears down guys. So the Benavides fight, 12 rounds. The Cavalatitias fight, 9 rounds. Jeff Horn makes it to the ninth round. So the bet I like here, and we'll name names. I mentioned Bovada.lv earlier. The bet I like here, and it's posted at oddschecker.com, involves Betfair, right? A sports book many of you might know about. Right now, this fight's so mispriced, folks, that you can buy Terrence Crawford to win in the second half of the fight. The seventh round to the twelfth round. Seven through twelve at 9 to 5 almost 2 to 1 odds right so I think you need Cal Brook to win plus 850 you gotta be kidding me understand if Cal Brook wasn't an 8 and a half to 1 underdog if they only gave him a 25 percent chance of winning the fight, only a 25% chance, then that would be a plus 300. Right? Here, they're telling you that Kell Brook has practically no chance of winning this fight. That's how it's priced. Now, how do I reconcile that with Kell Brook cuffing around Errol Smith, um, Spence? And I had Spence in that fight, in the early part of their fight. Right before Golovkin fought Canelo, the most vulnerable that Golovkin looked in a fight, other than the Kasim Uma fight, which I keep mentioning here online, were the early rounds against Kell Brook. Let's remember, too, those guys weren't even in the same weight class. In other words, Kell Brook, the smaller man, moved up multiple divisions to fight Golovkin and looked great in the early rounds because his hand speed and his foot speed show themselves early. I believe it's going to take Terrence Crawford several rounds to adjust. Let's remember too, I know Crawford got a relatively early stoppage against Amir Khan. But understand, was that a stoppage or was that Amir Khan and his corner deciding we've had enough? Was that a stoppage or Amir Khan pulling the plug on the fight? So I think Crawford, who I expect to win the fight, just to be blunt here, if, if this line was even money, I'd take Terrence Crawford. But the price matters. Right? I think Crawford's going to take some time to figure out Cal Brook. So the bet I like, I'll be the casino's Huckleberry, is Cal Brook plus 850. Give me, and I'm going to have to track down an American casino offering, what Betfair is offering. Give me the hedge of Crawford, round 7 through 12, at 9 to 5. I'll also throw some on Crawford by decision. Keep in mind, because you're getting a plus 850 on Kell Brook, you already have Kell Brook. By stoppage or decision. 
this fight's mispriced, sooner or later the public's going to wake up to the fact that it's mispriced. But right now, today, October the 24th, Kell Brook's a plus 850 underdog at bovada.lv. Not only that, if Terrence Crawford does what Terrence Crawford did in the Benavides fight, in the Jeff Horn fight, we're down the other guy. So the other guy falls apart in the second half of the fight. You mean to tell me today I can still get almost two to one odds on Terrence Crawford winning in the second half of the fight from Betfair? Right again, round seven through 12, you're getting it at a nine to five. That's the bet I like. I'll also sprinkle some on if the fight goes the distance or Terrence Crawford to win by decision, whichever odds are better. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Understand, the genius of Terrence Crawford is that Crawford is ambidextrous and Crawford tailors his style for the opponent he's facing. Well, when the opponent has hand speed like Kell Brook, it's going to take Crawford a while to feel comfortable switching from righty to southpaw and back. It's going to take Crawford a while to acclimate whatever game plan he's planned for Kell Brook to Kell Brook's fight style. Right? Didn't it take Golovkin a few rounds? Didn't that Errol Spence fight? And Spence is much more aggressive than Crawford. Right? Spence is coming forward. He's trying to collapse the pocket. This is not the Errol Spence on his back foot against Mikey Garcia. Right? Against Kell Brook, Spence is the hunter. Spence is coming forward. He's pushing the fight. And even that fight made it into the later part of the fight. So I like Kell Brook here. It's an odds play. This bet makes itself. You don't even have to think about it. You arrive at the sports book, you look up, you see Kell Brook plus 850. Your thought should be, okay, I'm going to take Kell Brook. Then when you're in line, you have to figure out who's he fighting. I like Kell Brook plus 850. I'll hedge the play with Crawford in round 7 through 12 at 9 to 5 and the fight going the distance, separate prop. You should be able to do all three because Lord knows you're getting leverage all over the place here. Plus 850? 9 to 5 on Crawford in the second half of the fight? You should be able to pull it together. But Remember, if Crawford comes out and does something he didn't do against Jeff Horn, does something he didn't do against Benavides, if he beats Cal Brook by stoppage before the start of the seventh round, you lose it all. Let's be adults about this. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I think this is a major casino mispricing. Bovada.lv, Kell Brook, plus 850. I think that's a major casino mispricing. I think you want to play it right here. At least that's how I'm handling it. Let me hear from you. I look forward to your thoughts. I hope you leave them in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.